what's up hello y'all welcome back to the complicated entertainment channel if you are new here welcome i'm so glad you're here if you are new here i just said that let's get into the video fuck all that let's all right y'all first things first on the menu that we're going to be talking about is it seems like sexy red is, pre is pregnant sexy red is pregnant did we just watch her video of her getting pregnant and then now she pre child i don't know now in my opinion i think this is a beautiful thing congratulations sexy red for your pregnancy you are an amazing mother um i guess but y'all i feel like personally where did this baby bump come from it's like almost like she just put on a baby bump costume because we have seen her for the past couple months she has not looked pregnant at all now all of a sudden she, she looks like she's about seven months pregnant like where does baby and come mind from? you mind you she's always wearing a crop top so we always see her stomach so i don't know where this baby come from maybe she's bloated and she's just using this for promo i don't know but in my opinion i am really you know i'm excited congratulations now in my opinion though i do think that um her man is trying to trap her with the baby okay because she's at the height of her career right now and you pregnant like i don't know i'm not saying that it, i'm not saying only one person can get somebody pregnant it takes two people to have a child but i just feel like i don't know like i feel like they're trying to set her up for failure like you have to hide your career pregnant your video is getting leaked pictures of you are getting leaked like just a lot of stuff is being leaked of you it's just i don't know i feel like he know what he's all doing. right child moving on it seems like drake's album has came out and um apparently it has done over 400,000 units okay and it has debuted number one of course because it is drake and drake has actually surpassed taylor swift with the most number one albums on the billboard 200 chart all right um now in my opinion i do think that the album is nowhere it, like drake could literally fart on all single tracks on the album he can literally be blowing bubbles okay on every single song and the album will still go number one and that's simply because he is drake all right um but my thing is this though how you got number one album over four hundred thousand units all right but you only sold ten thousand pure sales i don't know i get it we're in a new era of fans not really buying music anymore and they're just you know they're just streaming on youtube i get it but then again if you have core friend core fans your core fans are going to buy your album like what's up with this new wave of people not buying albums anymore i get i get why but then again your core fans should be buying your albums pure okay um because i know one thing when i hear an album i like or i hear an album that i do enjoy i always buy it i, I do yes i do buy, buy my albums on itunes i do and that's because okay hmm let me go ahead and lock it in but once again y'all drake is drake and he's just he's literally just thriving off the fact that his name is drake that's about it um yeah in my opinion the album is ass i mean i mean ass and i mean that in the most honest way i'm not even trying to be all extra right now dramatic and negative terrible moving on y'all it seems like offset's new album has dropped and it's out um and the album is doing what the album is doing which is fucking flopping okay um, now, Offset's new album cost set it off, aiming for a top 10 debut on the Billboard 200 with 55 to 65 units first week, okay? Now, my thing is that it was so much antics and drama leading up to this album, only for you to do 55K, okay? You were out here beefing with Nicki Minaj and beefing with Nicki Minaj's husband, okay? You were enticing drama with Nicki as well as her husband, okay? Just for some views and clicks, and guess what? It didn't even work, Okay? All the antics, all the drama leading up to the rollout didn't work, okay? You were dressed up like MJ, okay? Didn't work. Um, I really want to know, how many pure sales is this? Maybe, what, 200? <laughs> Maybe 150? You know, I think that's that's really what it is, okay? It is very sad to see a lot of these artists, you know, they're not new artists at all. They're, they're no, there's, <laughs> these artists are not new at all, and they are performing like they just debuted okay but let's be real y'all nobody's checking for offset let's be a hundred percent let's keep it a bean let's keep it a pinto bean ain't nobody checking for that man okay all right child moving on it seems like ice spice has dropped a new song um and she has debuted on snl okay it is a new song with rima okay um i love the song the song is called pretty girl pretty girl is definitely a vibe i love to hear listen okay me personally 
I love to hear Ice Spice's voice on different songs. I think she has a really nice voice that can be on more crossover songs. Um, her voice is good on drill, don't get me wrong, but this um, Pretty Girl song is a hit. I can hear it being in the, not in the clubs, I can hear it on the radio. I can hear that shit being overplayed on the radio every single day, every hour. You know how they had them same top five songs that the radio keep playing? Yeah, this song like that shit. I do think this song is going to be a hit on radio. Now, I do think the video could have been a bit better. I don't, I don't really like the video at all. Um, it just kind of gave me corny. Um, I mean, she looks good, you know. They both look good, but I just don't like it. It just, uh, -uh. we could have did something, something fresh, something, you know, a little newer. Um, but yes, I do love this song. Congratulations to them. Ice Spice, congratulations on your SNL debut. You are killing it. Keep doing your thing. Um, where the album at? For real. Where this album at? That's what I want to know. Where the album at, okay? Um, let's move on to this next topic. It seems like, it seems like everybody is scared of albums. Moving on. Seems like Lil' Kim is threatening to release new music, okay? So Lil' Kim posts this teaser on her social media of her making some new mew mew, okay? The song is called Nice Ice. Um, <laughs> Lil' Kim, I need you to get a hanger, okay? And I want you to put your career and grip it nice and strong on that fucking hanger, okay? And hang it up. Hang up this career, all right? The, the career is hanging on by a thread. And this new music you have been teasing for the past decade, okay, has not been hidden. It has not been hitting. It has not been making any noise. And I just, I, I hate the fact that Lil' Kim has been ruining her legacy like that, okay? Um, now, I'm not saying she can't make her music and have fun with it, but just don't release that shit, okay? That is just traumatizing to the viewers and listeners, okay? Um, in my opinion, though, I do think that Lil' Kim, I'm not saying she doesn't have impact. I'm not saying she doesn't have impact. I'm not bitter. I'm not negative. She has had, had impact, but her impact and her time has just gone. Um, and it shows in the, in, the, in, the, in the pudding for real. Um, now, I do think that she needs to retire very soon. Um, I think retirement will be one of the best decisions she makes in her entire life. Um, I do think that retirement is something that she should have prioritized the day she started rapping. One thing about SZA, y'all. SZA has been coming through with the hits, y'all. This era has literally been her best era. Every time I look around, it's a new viral song. Snooze is number one on radio, okay? Snooze is number one on pop radio, and it should be going number one next week on the Billboard Hot 100. Um, Snooze is better than Kill Bill. For sure, Kill Bill was overhyped and was kind of repetitive. But Snooze is my song, and I do think that SZA needs to release some type of remix to the song. I know she has a Justin Bieber acoustic version of the song, but I mean like a remix with somebody like, I don't know, Coco Jones, Victoria Monet. Um, I want a nice, fresh remix. I love the song. The song is beautiful. And like I said, SZA has just been doing her thing this year. And honestly, now that I think about it, no other artist has been having a good of a year like SZA. No, but no, like if SZA does not win Artist of the Year at somebody's award show, it's obviously rigged. And that's just half about that. Um, really proud of her. Congratulations to SZA. And um, yes, y'all, that's all I got for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tap the bell so you can get an alert every single time a new video is posted. And I will see you in the next one. Be safe.